Guantanamo Bay to tell us all the latest. Good morning, Catherine. Well, thank you, Shannon. Um, the way it used to be here uh, at Guantanamo Bay is that when we traveled for the military commission hearings, if we had an open day like today when no hearings were scheduled, they would take us to the detention camps that are about a 20 or 30 minute drive from where I'm standing right now. Uh, but that is no longer the case. Uh, the access really shut down pretty rapidly after an incident in late May when we went to the detention camps and the Chinese Muslims, the Uyghurs, uh, staged a protest. You may remember they held up signs on these government issued art pads that compared America to Hitler and also questioned whether the president was a communist or a Democrat because they had still not been released. Now this issue of limited media access has now been taken up by a senior Republican, uh, Jim Inhofe on the Senate Armed Services Committee, and he wrote to the White House asking for an explanation in this change in policy, and he sent that letter two weeks ago. It's a state-of-the-art type of a, a, a detention place. It's something that it can't be replicated anywhere else. And I don't think that the, uh, the, uh, this president it just has this obsession to close it and bring those terrorists uh, somewhere in the United States. And I don't think that they want people to know how well that place is uh, managed. Well, the issue really, according to the senator, is that he thinks that there really ought to be broad coverage of what's happening in these detention camps as we get close to this self-imposed January deadline. And I spoke to uh, the senator's office this morning, and they told me that they have yet to have a response from the White House to that letter that was sent, Shannon. All right, Catherine Herridge, always on it for us uh, right there on the front lines in Guantanamo Bay. Thank you, Catherine. We're about 33.